What is up boys and girls and welcome back to another video. This is the second part of the two part series where we create our little grassy island. <clears throat> so before we start, um, we got to download this one plugin uh, for After Effects um, to uh, achieve a certain effect that we're going to work with. So what you're going to do is you're just going to search up um, null unmold and just going to click on the first link. Where can I get unmold maximum support? It's going to give you these download links. I'll also leave a link. I'll leave this link here in the description below so you can just click it. <clears throat> and yeah, you just want to download these for your system. And um, I would recommend downloading unmold 1.1 for Windows. Click that. There you go. I'm going to give you this and what you're going to do is you're just literally going to drop it into the folder of which which of these operating systems you're using. You just drop it in there and it's going to be installed. Restart your After Effects if it was running. So um, yeah, let's jump into After Effects. So right here in After Effects, what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new project and a new composition. New composition I'm going to call main. And I'm going to make the width 1920 by 1080. Doesn't matter what frame it is at, but it does matter what um, duration it is at. So I'm just going to leave it like this. But make sure when you click on OK, you create the <clears throat> you create the uh, composition. Make sure to drag your um, timeline end, your work area end here, drag it to the like drag it um <clears throat> right onto um the other one as you can see there's going to be a one frame um time in between you can't make it shorter <clears throat> um there's just going to be one frame and this one frame is literally all we need because we don't we're not running an animation we're just rendering a single static png and we don't need the png 30 times but since it's just going to be the same png so one frame <clears throat> here we go so the project right here, right click, import, import multiple. Files. Next, I'm going to go over to the folder that uh, where I have my assets located in. I'll just cut to that. There we go. I want to import our base. This post going to be three passes that you want to import. It done <clears throat> now we don't want to create a composition what we want to do is we want to drag our base onto our timeline next we're going to drag our post above our base on the timeline and under the mode the blending modes right here we're going to choose screen that is going to apply the bloom to our image Next, we want to drag our depth uh, above our post on our timeline. And what we now want to do is right click for real depth, create a pre-composition and call this just depth. Then with this depth selected, we want to go up to effect and you're going to see a new tab called null. This is the plugin that we installed and then you're going to go. Then you want to go and hit unmold. <coughs> After, you, after you've hit that, you can see that it makes our black and white image um, kind of transparent. It, uh, it allows us to use it. And um, so with this depth selected, we want to draw a mask on on our image uh, to tell the depth, to tell this layer where it should be displayed. So um, go up to your rectangle tool and just draw a mask over where you want to have it. First up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a mask over our horizon line right here. So I'm going to hide it. It doesn't look that bad. Let me let me redo it a couple of times here. There we go. Um, so with our mask set here, I want to drop down this mask that we created in the depth recomposition and just turn up the mask feather. The trick that I'm using here is actually from a tutorial from Jay Pierce. Um, he's a really cool guy. You can also go check out his tutorials. Um, he's 
he's doing God's work on Instagram. Like, just look at his profile on Instagram. Give him a follow. He's he's doing really, really, really amazing stuff. He he really inspires me. So, um, after you've uh, feathered your mask, you can see that it's um, it's hiding this horizon line really good. And we we, we still want to add a little bit more um, this mist in front of our uh, in front of our hill here. Select our depth again and get another angle tool, get the rectangle tool again, and just draw over our hill here. There we go. These two masks. Feather these again. Take both of these masks. Feather them. I want to feather them a lot, actually. Oh, just like that. See, it gets, gets really misty. And, um, looks pretty good. You can add a little bit more masks for details in the mist. So, for example, if we want a little bit more mist over here in this water, we can go select our depth again. And draw another mask over here, maybe. And maybe want to actually get us a, a round mask, so just... Click and hold down the uh, uh, left click. Um, release the left click uh, over the ellipse tool. Ellipse tool. I'm just gonna draw a ellipse here, a little, little small one. Or a couple of them. Get a little bit of some little clouds that are passing over this lake. So let's select all of those, drop them down, and turn up the feather. As you can see, we've created a little bit of this misty look that is passing the lake. <clears throat> I want this to be a little bit less. Uh, oh, let me turn down the opacity of this. So now we have this misty hill. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It, looks, it really looks better than the, the one we just had pop out out of Blender. Um, if you know, go and um, refine this maybe with, with a little character or maybe make this scene night and um, have like an astronaut floating above the water. I don't know. Just get creative with it. You can create some really, really, really good stuff. But yeah, this is this is literally it for the um, After Effects uh, for the After Effects part. Um, Actually, in the last one, I said I was going to use Photoshop, but I'm not. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this is it. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this render. It's the first render I've created in a while, so please don't be mad. <laughs> it, I know it's not it's not too good, but I got to get I got to start somewhere again. So now to um, exporting this it's actually pretty easy. So what we want to do is we want to come uh, up here just collapse all of this and select our main composition composition up here and then you want to go and add to adult media encoder queue on that wait until um media encoder has started there we go and now uh just wait a couple of seconds and it's going to pop up here there we go there it is um over here uh it's probably set to h2 um h264 but what you want to do is you want to change this to png and over here these settings you can just leave how they're uh leave them as they are uh leave them at default and over here this is the path where it's going to output to so i want to select this and now you want to just hit over here start queue and boom, it's instantly done, and we can go take a look at it. There it is. Um, I might, I might, I might have done a little bit too much fog, but <clears throat> yeah, you can regulate that. You can turn, you can, you can make it a little bit less. But I overall like, I overall like how it turned out, and um, yeah, that's it. Um. This actually, I'm actually probably not going to do this in two parts. I'm just going to put these videos together. Um, hey, what's up, guys? This is me, uh, Franz from 2022. Um, and yeah, I'm editing this video right now. And I just want to wish you all a happy new year. 
and I hope you're all going to have a great year. And I just wanted to say thank you again for all the support and shout out to all the people that I, um, for all the assets that I used from people and a shout out to all the people that I use techniques of, like from Jay Pierce. And, um, yeah, just happy to be in 2022. And I hope this is going to be a, a good year, which is probably, which it probably is going to be. And I wish you all a great rest of the day. And as always, stay creative.